Hey, thanks for uh, continuing to watch this video or to uh, read the blog that you're reading right now. I'm actually continuing it from the inside of my vehicle as opposed to being outside right now. It is coming down pretty good. Um, right now, if you could hear me better and I was outside and there wasn't a strong wind, I would be doing this inspection and kind of walking along uh, step by step looking at um, some of the problems that would exist um, with a roof. Now again, as I mentioned in another video, the best time to do a lot of these roof inspections are when it's actually raining. Um, of course, given the fact that you've taken necessary arrangements to be safe on a roof, um, I never encourage necessarily getting on the roof um, if it's you know completely unsafe. Now there are cases where people have to get on roofs and uh, I myself have fallen through rotten decking and uh, it, it, uh, several adjusters have had the same thing that happened and had to purchase uh, a new roof because uh, accidents that do happen. So something to pay attention to, and I'm gonna show it in the video here in just a second. I'm gonna kind of point to it in a minute. And one of the reasons that we'll have failures in roofs, um, leaking and that sort of thing, as I had mentioned before, um, is you know damaged gutters. Uh, the guttering has got issues. One of the other things too at either a large facility or even your residential home is gutters that are not draining properly. And in this particular case, this big box store that everybody knows, it rhymes with uh, Mall Mart, all kidding aside, what they have done is they've actually, you'll see these out in front of these large facilities, they'll put these, uh, these ponds in the background back here. And it's all it is is just made to be an overflow pond, but it's not gonna do its job if, and I'm gonna try to show it right here, uh, I'm gonna flip on my windshield wiper and that large cylinder-like device that the gutter that you see coming through there has to remain open. And a lot of times what has to be done over a period of time, maybe not necessarily back here, you won't see a lot of trees, is often there'll be trees around facilities and they will you know, scatter the seeds and the debris on top of the roof and then over a time, a period of time, uh, that water will rush down the sides of those roofs, no matter how uh, necessarily uh, the slope is. It could be a steep slope, it could be a very gentle slope, but over a period of time, it will wash down through the gutter. And those gutters um, often need to be cleaned out. And so you could use that as an example of even your own home. Um, if you don't have gutter guards on there, and even if you do, it requires an amount of cleaning. And again, why is it important? You could have a roof failure that leads to a problem um, with your basement um, or with your structure below. And that's one of the things, that's one of the reasons that we really are encouraging people yearly to have these roof inspections. Um, and then for the other reasons that make a lot of sense, um, if you do discover damage that's on your roof, typically your insurance company only allows uh, for 365 days. That's exactly one year from um, that particular uh, accident or that particular uh, weather anomaly. Let's say for instance, it's hail or anything else, wind, um, a number of other things could happen, but you have a year to claim it. And outside of that year, it's on you. So here are the reasons that we do that. Um, you know, think of it as something that you need to do just like an oil change on your car. It's just part of the maintenance that we always do. My dad used to always say, you know, as long as you own something, you're gonna have a certain amount of maintenance. And a lot of times we don't consider or think about that roof until it fails. And because it's such a large expense, we wanna make sure that we're actually protecting those large expenses. We just don't think about it in that way sometimes. But if you have any questions, add to the community, add to the comments, um, add your experiences, good and bad. Hopefully it'll encourage people to do the right thing for themselves and, and choose the right roofing contractor. You know, a lot of the good roofing contractors that are actually really good, um, they will come out and give you an honest to goodness, um, thorough diagnostic of your roof and tell you the truth. I mean, it doesn't need to be done. You know, not every roof that they go on is going to have the damage that is going to be something that your insurance company will write off. You don't want to deal with people that are just doing it to do it and are shady from the outset. You want to work with people that are reputable. Uh, anyhow, again, add some comments, give it a share, give it a like, and thank you for watching this video. Or if you are reading the blog, thank you for reading that and please share that with someone else.